Hello everyone. Once again, I welcome you all to my channel TechnoCube and you are in the series of Fundamental of Cybersecurity. Uh, we are uh, seeing a traffic probe uh, practical in this session. Uh, earlier we had discussed the theoretical part, right? So uh, uh, we will see uh, one tool that is NetKit, right? So you see NetKit is very uh, important tool for an attacker. Uh, it is a gathering tool. Uh, he can do many, a lot many things by NetKit. Okay, so first thing we're gonna see with NetKit is, uh, let's say NetKit is used to connect two system for communication. So I can do that. So if I want to uh, connect two systems, okay, uh, I can come, I can connect. So one machine I'm having here uh, is Kali, which is having an IP address of, let me show you the IP address. It's a 130, all right. So this is the I, uh, IP config of Kali machine. And I have an XP as a target machine and he's having, I'm so sorry. So he's having an IP of uh, IP config. Uh, you see, he's having an IP of 134. All right. So 130 and 134. And now I have NetKit installed. Uh, Kali is having pre-built Net NetKit. Uh, however, for Windows, you need to download NetKit 1.11. It is available on internet. You just download it. Okay. So and now you uh, open the command prompt and go to the directory. So I'm gonna make a CD here and just paste that path and there you go your netcat is up and running here all right so to connect these two machines your ubuntu and kali if you want to make a con communication a private communication like this then you need to make first of all you need to create a port which is on the listening mode okay you need to create a port which is in the listening mode so for that reason you're having nvlp for uh, so n is specifically saying that do not use the web domain name okay use only numeric ip address so i'm gonna i'm gonna input only ip address and not the domain name v is for verbus uh, l is for the listening and p is for the port number right it's a simple thing i hope you understand it right so n is numeric ip address v is verbus l is listening port and listening and p is port okay so i'm, I'm gonna Put some port number let's say 2222 and these are the port number you can give any uh, not the uh, one which is used like 80 and 53 and likewise you cannot use that right so this is the port number and when i hit enter you will see that it is listening on the port number 2222 so i can i can i can take this port number here in the kali and i can communicate with this xp machine you just have to write uh, netcat and then uh, for the again the numeric ip address only don't give the domain name and then the verbus target ip address 117 then 134 is my xp machine and the port number that you had uh, given in the xp so it is 2222 once you do it you will hit enter and you see that it is uh, connected to 134 uh, i mean uh, connected to 130 here this is 134 is xp and 130 is kali so it is connected so now i can do is like i can do something like hey i can send a message here I'm so sorry why it is not working. So let's see. Hey, this is Kali machine. So this message is going to be, oh, come over here. Hey, I am uh, Ubuntu. Okay, so this message will come here. You see, so both machines are communicating with each other. And this is the one example of NetKit. Okay, so let me control C it and come out from the communication part. So let me do the same thing here. So it is already disconnected. So this is one thing you are, you can communicate it. Like let's say the another part of NetKit is you can send a file from one computer to another computer. Okay, with the help of NetKit command. And how can I do that? Well, it's a simple thing to do. First of all, you need to, uh, you know, go to the Windows machine. I mean, in your XP machine, you need to set a port and a file which is completely empty. So I can do that. I go to the XP machine. I'm gonna do net, sorry. Uh, nc.exe and then I'm gonna do like uh, again the same thing dash nvlp I'm gonna set a port number like let's say 1200 and then I'll I'll, I'll grab uh, I'll, I'll send I'll create an empty file so let's say uh, it's a receive or maybe um, um, file receive dot uh, Ext. So I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll get a file from Kali machine. Okay, so that's why I have a file receive.txt. So when I do that, you see that uh, that this file uh, receive.txt is completely empty here, and it is maybe in the uh, documents. Hi, um, I'm so sorry. I think it is somewhere, uh, but I precisely do not know whether 
it is actually there uh, if i do like dir maybe it will show it to me uh, so sorry it is there and only i'm so sorry it is there <laughs> uh, here in downloads in netkit i'm so sorry i was just uh, here is uh, file receive you see it's a zero byte and it is completely empty so now when kali machine will send a file it is going to be appended or you can say pasted inside this file receive.txt so let's see in the kali machine you need to uh, first of all create a file so i'm gonna do like a very simple thing i cannot do is echo hey uh, this is kali machine and uh, um, i'm gonna come there right so this is what i did and i'm gonna put this in a file like file send dot txt scan the um, scan file as i'm so sorry this is my language so now you see that it is there inside the uh, file so this has been echoed and file file send dot txt and uh, you see now what you need to do is i think i'm entered into some yeah i need to do it so I have this file. So let me take ls and then let me find that file where exactly it is. Uh, it is not created. Let me create one more time. File send.txt. It is. I think it is right. Maybe why this is coming is because. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. I think I had done some mistake here, and mistake is uh, this uh, uh, apostrophe. I should not do that. Let me write in a very simple language. So this is. And you see it is the file has been created here and that is the file file send.txt and I want to send this file uh, to the uh, XP machine. So now uh, as you see the 1200 port has been set uh, set by the Windows XP. Now I'm, I'm going to do is netcat and I'm going to do nv for the same thing uh, numeric IP address and verbose and then the IP address 192.168.117.120 uh, sorry 134. And then the 1200 is a port number and you see that i'm gonna give this same file file send it .txt. so i'm sending a file here okay so once i send it it is open right on a 1200 port here if you see that uh, it, it grab a file from 130 to one oh you just had to uh, see the folder so if i go here let me cancel it if i go to the uh, download uh, again to the netcat uh, folder and you will see that file is it is having one KB now if you open this file you will you will see that hey this is Kali machine and I'm gonna come there you can see that the file that you had send it as file send it txt it has been copied inside file received txt so you can you can make a file sending application with the help of netcat right so this is one thing uh, another thing it can also be used for port scanning so third usage of netcat Let's understand it how can i do that well it's a very simple process it, it's just a matter of fact that you need to uh, put some options so what is the option so if i want to make a port scan if i want to do the port scan of my xp machine i can do netcat dash uh, v then the wait timeout so two seconds for wait timeout dash z z stands for that i do not want to make a tcp a complete tcp connection okay do not do it because if i do that then my xp machine gonna understand that you know he will uh, he will get that three-way handshake since in ack and ack which i do not want it right so i'm not making any three-way handshake there so it will not uh, going to be uh, detected by this xp machine so no tcp here okay dash z and then the ip address of 192 sorry target ip address uh, 168.117.128 i'm sorry 134 i almost forget and the range i can give a range of ports uh, ports here because i do not know what kind of ports xp is using so i can give like one to hundred please scan all the ports from one to hundred when i do that when i hit enter you will see that it is just giving me the things you see the port 80 25 and 21 is open in xp machine and this is the same thing i want to do, right so it is a port scanning tool also so you can do the port scanning with netcat command okay one thing this Another use of uh, the netcat is to create a backdoor here. Okay, you can create a backdoor. So once you uh, you know exploit your XP machine, uh, what you can do, you can install a backdoor here. Okay, so later you can uh, after a few days, uh, even after a few days of attack, you can use that backdoor uh, to uh, you know uh, gain access to some other things, right? So backdoor is very important. So what you're gonna do in the in the uh, XP machine? So with the Kali machine, you can open a, a command prompt of Windows, okay, after installing a backdoor of CMD. Uh, CMD. So I'm going to do like netcat 
dot exe and then again i'm going to set it for a listening mode nvlp with a port number 1300 dash e for executable and cmd.exe is the thing that i want to uh, open in the uh, kali machine so once i do it i will hit enter and it is listening on 1300 i'll simply do a netkit command here it's a simple command dash nb and then 192.168.117.134 and the same port number once i do it you will see that i'm getting a cmd okay i'm getting a command prompt of my xp machine Ah, you can see and this is the exact thing so whatever the user is doing on his machine i can now do the same thing okay so it's um, i cannot use any linux command here so i can do dir so you see that um, this is all about uh, even if you can do this ip config you see the ip addresses you see it's a 134 and 134 is my xp machine so you had seen four examples of netkit command one is for port scanning uh, one is for file sending one is for um, a communic uh, connecting two computers and one is for using the back door all right so uh, the, this is netcat and i hope you like it if you like it then please hit that like button you are new to my channel subscribe to my channel and share it okay thank you so much for listening to me guys uh, and we'll see you in the next session thank you so much